Hey, Spuddies, Potato Big Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Australia. Now, uh, where we left off, we were exploring Nubia to have a look and see if we could maybe go to war with them. And it looks like they have at least, I might liberate Lisbon and take over Kawa. We'll kind of have a think about that sort of stuff. Uh, but it looks like we may have to push with frigates because they have some awkward cities to hit. Like, Lisbon is easy to take with just caravels. So we may want to delay a little bit until we get frigates. Um, the actual assault. Which might give us time to get that one um, thingy that will give us the... Do, 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 what you call it? That one thing... Uh, mercenaries. We might get mercenaries, so we might build up some holy sites and, and just kind of see what we can pull off here. But yeah, I think we're I think we're on good track here. We've got a lot of infrastructure building up. We've got a lot of um, pre-built galleys on the go. Uh, yeah, we're also going to pick up the wheel here. I think I will quickly grab this fish tile because it's a really high value tile for me. And ooh, it looks like even more cities, coastal cities for me to take. I could take quite a few here. Um... We are going to need a ground army to follow this up, though, depending on how their layout is. It depends on how easy it is to get around here. Um, and it looks like it's going to be a little bit awkward to get around. Uh, unless we can go check out up to the north. Uh, what I might do is I might send a different galley up there, because you'll take only five turns. And then I'll have you kind of come back to my empire. Okay. Okay. So there's definitely some cities we want to settle across on some of these other islands. I'm going to send this scout on Auto Explore. Uh, just because, you know, not much else for a scout to do except for Auto Explore. Was I not going to send you up around here? Oh, I guess that thing is in the way. Okay, there we go. Get that fish online. Okay. The city's looking great already. Ah, it's an honor to meet you, Poland. So I think we've met all the saves in the game. We will want to be sending Poland a delegation to try to improve our relationship with them. Sometimes the wheel turns slow. And I kind of really want to settle the Great Barrier Reef, but I think I want to get my main island settled as well. So we're going to hold off on cartography for a few turns. I want to start making my way up to uh, mass production. I'd also like to get knights if I could. Maybe that could be a good follow-up attacking unit. We'll get to work on currency since it's only two turns. I think I'm going to purchase the temple here. Because that'll let me get my apostles out faster. It'll also give me a big boost to culture. And I'll be able to sell off some more of these luxury resources here in a moment. Uh, like this salt here that somebody might buy. Uh, I send you a delegation just to make sure you're happy. How do you feel? How much gold do you have? You don't have a whole lot of gold. What about you, Philip? How gold? How much gold do you have? Oh, you have a decent amount. You already have salt. Okay. You'll pay me five gold per turn. You already have salt. Pedro? You'll pay me slightly more than the other guys were willing to pay. Maybe three gold per turn? Two. Okay. Go. We net that little bit of gold there. So we have a really decent gold income. We should be able to purchase upgrade. I forget what the price is to upgrade to a caravel, but I think it's quite expensive. Uh, in Canberra, I would also, I think I would want to build a pre-build pre a couple of quadri reams as well. But I also need settlers. I mean, if I'm going to conquer cities, I don't quite need that many settlers. Getting my harbor up would be really, really awesome too. Uh, it's got a couple quads. Now, what is the boost for this? Kill a unit with a musketman. So we're not going to get square rigging with any pace. Um, so I think I would actually rather get a library to try to speed that up. The campus will help out on that front as well. Yeah, we're probably going to do a push with frigates. I think I was exploring with you, right? Yeah, go up there. See if there's a way around Nubia's lands. Um, let's go ahead and improve stuff with you. These crab tiles would be really, really valuable to get improved. We'll go to the next turn. 
I think I was going to use this guy for something else. Maybe I could improve another. Actually, I think I would like to get my luxuries up if I'm going to do this. Getting luxuries up will allow me to trade them. I'll grab currency. And then I'll grab cartography. Uh, let's go ahead and evangelize a belief. So it looks like Crusade has been taken. Uh, I need to be careful that she doesn't get a religion that provides her defensive benefits. Okay, she didn't. What are we going to build? What are we going to take as a belief? I think the Pagoda could be a good housing improvement. Um, stewardship isn't terrible. If I grabbed Tithe, it would provide me with a good chunk of gold. We'll grab Pagodas. It'll give me something to spend my faith on. Hmm. Is that really that good? I don't think that that's that. I don't think that's good. I don't think it's that good. So maybe we'll go for... Yeah, none of these beliefs really, 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 really stand out to me. So I'm just going to grab pagodas, because that'll give me something to spend my faith on. Head over here, go to the next turn. We have another galley finishing. I actually don't have the naval unit production card slotted in, which is perhaps a mistake. Eighteen turns on the settler. Do a little bit of spreading over here. Okay, we should be just fine. We should be able to conquer all these coastal cities, no problem. Keeping them will be another matter. You finished a library. Uh, let's get the library up. We want to get as much science as possible so that we can get square rigging as fast as possible. Okay, you go into alert there, you keep moving next turn. I was hoping to maybe build some of those uh, coastal wonders, but I've kind of gone off that idea. Let's see if you can get onto the coastline. Mm, looks like that's a dead end, so we're going to have some trouble here. See if we can spread over there. Get up. Ah, oh, you're dead. I'm sorry. Unfortunate. We can sell these now. I think our follow-up unit might be knights. We need iron for that. We don't have iron. So what the hell is our follow-up unit going to be? We don't have one. We're just going to go for a coastal expand and see what we can pull off. And you head over there, go into alert mode. Okay, so it's a dead end. Unfortunate. We should be able to grab a few cities off them. Yeah, you died. That's unfortunate. I'm worried about the pillaging. Let's make a dedication. Um, I'm thinking monumentality here to give me something to spend my faith on. So how much for this upgrade? 270 gold. Okay. We can get three of them. Uh, we need to... We need to start... We've got some time here to do a little bit more settling. So I'm going to faith purchase a settler, I think, in a few turns. Let's 
Let's grab our harbor. Hmm. Let's think about this. What are we going to do? Uh, we have carvels, so we can hit these cities pretty damn hard. Pretty damn quick. We need a follow-up unit, and that's the really hard part that we're, we're struck on. The harbour is really important for my long-term development, so I'm going to grab that. And we'll just hold in formation. I want you to follow this settler. We want to get that silver online as soon as possible. You're going to head back. We'll go to the next turn. Unit needs orders. I could sell these uh, furs. You'll buy them for 270 gold-ish, maybe 278 gold. Maybe a little bit less. 276, okay. There we go. That'll purchase me another Caraval upgrade. We need a Caraval over here to guard some of these uh, coastal improvements so they don't get killed. chop this lighthouse out I know it's I know it's an inefficient chop but that's not a big deal move here caravel move two tiles and then upgrade I should be pretty high on the military score now thanks to those yeah they gave me quite a decent amount of power Nubia has a lot of units but they're mostly old units I could just transition into settling. Because I don't have a follow-up unit to really conquer their continent with. Yeah, I think I'm going to transition. Ugh, I don't think I can pull this off without a... solid unit. They're not enough, they're not enough exposed. Well, well, you know what? We'll give it a try. We'll give it the old college try. Which means I need to build some quad dry rooms, which needs, means I need to put in the... I'm not going to be building builders right now. Um, I would love to put in holy side adjacency bonuses. I'm not going to be making... I'm actually not going to be producing settlers either. I'm making them in one city. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to switch away from this. Get your holy side up. I think that's a better play. Let's grab naval, naval tradition. Well, we'll want that eventually. We don't need it right now. Um... Let's make our way to mercenaries. We're going to want Victor and we're going to want, um, what's her name? Amani. Let's go up to level two with our Ma. That'll give me some faith in shrines. Also give me some error score, which is quite nice too. Go there. Get this farm up there. I'm going to faith purchase a settler in the not too distant future. I think I'm going to move Magnus over the Hobart. Next turn. You need to come home to get upgraded. Bravery is being the only one. Okay, there's military tradition. Not really a thing we care too much about. Okay, we'll hold on here. You're gonna settle in place. We will purchase, we'll get we'll delete this and we will purchase ourselves the silver tile. We'll go and prove that silver tile. I'll place the harbor. I won't finish it. Instead, I'm going to get to work on a... Um... Yeah, why not build a harbor? Go for it. That's actually... A harbor is going to be my, my sort of mid-game powerhouse building that's going to get me a lot of volume if I can uh, get those shipyards up at really good adjacency. 
Faith would be amazing. I think I want to get this pasture up because I do get culture bombs from pastures. I also need to be mindful of guilds giving me outback stations. I think I'm going to go for Reformed Church this game. But I definitely want to pick up mercenaries to be able to upgrade units for cheap. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I want to get my holy sites up for the culture and the faith. And then let's appoint Amani. We won't put her in a city yet because I don't need it. Get that mine up so we can sell another luxury. I'm going to put you into alert. You're going to go into alert. Culture bomb, nice. We'll go to the next turn. Overall, I think we've got a great little civilization here brewing. We just need to improve it a little bit. Get that up. And you're going to go into alert. We have a bunch of caravels ready to attack. We just need a couple of quadri reams. We're going to need the gold as well. So I think I'll be I think I'll go around and start selling all my luxuries again. See if I can get some money for open borders. Let's talk to you. Oh, you'll pay quite a lot for this, so. You'll give me 333 gold and 10 gold, 11 gold per turn, which is a really amazing amount of gold, actually. Uh, let's choose our production. Okay, very good. We finished the library. Um, let's faith purchase a settler. I want to settle on this cocoa. And I think I wanted a caravel to guard it. To make sure it's safe. I want to settle on this Coco. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Let's focus on growth here. Get the city to grow a little bit taller because it lacks a little bit of food in here. So the more food I can get, the better. They have a really, really good science gain, actually, at this point in the game. We're on par with Nubia, which means we can go to war with her. Uh, harbor completed. Let's grab the Quadrireme. Go there. I know I'm moving away from where I want to go, but it's kind of like, it's just a safer move. I could settle on this cocoa, but I want to be close to the Great Barrier Reef. Lighthouse is being done here in Melbourne. That'll give me a good, decent amount of food to grow in. This should go up to uh, a lot less turns. It should go down, go down in the number of turns it'll take to grow. Okay, very nice. A holy site completed. Let's grab ourselves a shrine. Want to place a campus. Make sure we upgrade this guy. Plus four holy site. Nice one. I'm going to place the campus, but I want to get to work on the shrine and the temple because that gives me a lot of culture. Move there, we'll go to the next turn. Okay, I'm going to get out three quadriremes, I think, which is a good number of frigates. So let's just queue up two more. Go there, go there. Won't be long now before we're going to be attacking uh, the Nubians. I think I'm going to liberate Lisbon. I think that's the best move here. Although, no, you know what? Actually, I think I'm going to keep Lisbon because I don't have commercial hubs. Yeah, I don't have commercial hubs, so why would I liberate? 
Just wait there. A lot of faith generation. I'm going to start faith purchasing builders, I think. Although I want to faith purchase settlers because I want to settle some of these cities over here. There's good cities out there, Brent. They're good cities, Brent. How much is it to faith purchase another settler? 405 gold, uh, faith. Yeah, I think I'm going to faith purchase settlers as much as I can. Because I can get a lot of value out of them. You have a welcome. Your embassy is welcome. Do a little bit of militaristic expansion. And we finished a granary in here. Get the water mill. That'll net you a little bit more growth. Settle in place. Excellent. Alrighty. Get those great barrier reef tiles. When I get our harbors up, that's like our... Again, harbors are like our big infrastructure thing. It's going to net us a lot of value. Just keep waiting there next turn. We've almost got frigates. His feudalism. We're not doing anything in that respect, so we'll be just fine. Just hold on there. You wait until we have another, uh, another thingamadoodle. Okay, so I'm being denounced by Alexander. It's understandable. I'm not a very likable person. I would love if an AI declared war on me, actually. That would make me very happy. Okay, we're going to grab our lighthouse in this city because it's going to net me a lot of food. You need to try and escape from this guy. Next turn, we can buy another one of those guys. We're going to get the lighthouse. That's going to give me a lot of food. You're going to go here and just wait one more turn. Well, three more turns, technically. I need to get more gold, so I'm going to be selling off my luxuries here in a moment. Quickly escape. Let's talk to Pedro. Uh... You don't have enough gold. You hate me. So you would give me like this plus three gold per turn. Maybe four? Four is pushing it too far. Three is pushing it too far. Probably two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't want to get any gold per turn off Nubia because I'm going to be declaring war on her. Spain, on the other hand will definitely pay a decent amount for some of these luxuries. 24 gold per turn, so that's this. Plus probably like a few of these. 18, 19 gold per turn. 18 gold per turn, very nice. Okay, 500 gold plus 18 gold per turn for all my luxuries. And... Plus 5 holy sight. Good stuff. All right, into faith purchase that settler. There's a really, 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 really good game going here for me. Okay, let's faith purchase that settler. Okay, where is this one going? I think I want to grab all these things. I could fit two cities here. I could put one here. Now that kind of cock blocks me over here on these guys. And then I could settle on the incense. That would still grab all the luxuries that I want. Yeah, I think I'm going to settle right here. I'd have to settle on cattle. If I settled on incense. I don't know. We don't have to, move. We don't have to make the decision right now. We can think about that. There's not really a great optimal city location over there. Plus five campus, place it. But I don't quite need it yet. I want to get my shrines out. Because I get a lot of value out of shrines. Faith and culture. Let's trade with... Palenki, this is kind of a dangerous trade route. It would give me a thingy. 
but it's a kind of a it's likely to get pillaged so i don't want to do that so instead i'm going to trade with i could trade internally i don't think i want to do internal trade routes i think i want to do external i'm going to trade with rio that'll get me gold faith and science one more turn until frigates are around and then i can start conquering all these coastal things so let's go ahead and get ourselves three frigates now I should be in an extremely dominant position, so we're ready to go to war, and on the note of being ready to go to war, we'll end this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel, and remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that though, I want to say I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!